Emmy and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to fashion moment 38 all right so good to have you back again so good to see you so hey um I'm actually on time I'm not a late person but um it's just been since I started this channel this year between that and my photography business um, just exploding literally and uh and then i threw teaching into the mix i've been a very very busy woman <laughs> and it's hard to get things out for valentine's for saint patrick's day sometimes it's like the day after i feel like i've just been you know running and running trying to to catch up but um yeah but that's okay that's how things are sometimes when you start a new project and um but this time you know let me just get to the point this time i will be showing you what i'm going to be wearing for easter on time uh, hopefully it will go out on Thursday, if not for Friday. <laughs> we'll just see. Uh, I had about a thousand pictures to go through this weekend and um, a whole bunch to retouch. So um, yeah, but I'm thankful. I'm really thankful. And um, by the way, I, I just want to say thank you too for all of you that have um, subscribed to my channel. It's, I'm, I'm looking to hit a thousand and it looks like it might happen. So I'm, I'm just really thankful. I'm thankful for my work. I'm thankful for all of you who support me and who like my channel. And um, I'm just very excited. And um, yeah, I'm so happy um, to be doing this. I, I enjoy doing this. I think you can see that. And um, I enjoy talking to you about the Saint makeup, which we'll be doing. And um, I enjoy doing the fashioning. So yeah, so I just uh, wanted to share what I'll be wearing uh, for this Easter and you know, whether you celebrate Easter or you celebrate another holiday, um, you can't go wrong with the pastels, the bright colors. Um, you know, it's just, it's a time of rebirth and blooming, you know, the flowers are in blossom the grass is starting to get green depending on where you live and um, it's just things are changing and you know you're heading towards the warmth towards the sun towards the summer and it's an exciting time of year it's just beautiful all the little birds are chirping and the animals are back and um, so yeah whatever you celebrate you know you want to look good and um, so I want to share my um, fashioning with you and um, talk to you a little bit why I chose this style of dress and how I curated my outfit. So hey, uh, without further ado, let's get started. All right, lovely ladies, so hey, um, before we get started, I just wanted to talk a bit about the Saint makeup, which I absolutely adore. And it's been like an absolute game changer in my life. It's um, makeup made easy, it's simplistic, and you know, simplicity is the new sophistication. And I just love that statement because it really is. Um, it's not chic running all around uh, trying to find your makeup <laughs> or having like a makeup graveyard <laughs> in your drawer and um, yeah so <laughs> it's I like everything all in one place I like it organized I like it travel friendly um, and this hits the mark uh, fits the bill in all of those areas so let me just give you a little look at it okay 
here is my powder side. Isn't that lovely? Okay, you see the vanilla dust, uh, which is the bigger one, and then all my favorite colors of eyeshadow, and you see the coal on the outside corner. So I use on my eyebrows, um, and there's more colors, but this is, this is the size that I would use traveling, and it's just perfect for that. Um, I have a triple decker, I admit. <laughs> I just love to play, and I'm an artist, so yeah, why wouldn't I? And I want to show you something else for traveling before I show you the other side. See, it's completely magnetic, okay? Hi there. <laughs> yeah, I just absolutely adore it. And then here is uh, the cream side, and we've got our highlight, our contour, our lip and cheek, and our illuminator. And it's just, uh, you have everything you want. Now the lip and cheek happens to be in the holiday size, and I still think they have them, but I think it's so cute that I can have both of my lip and cheek, like, you know, just in there ready to go. It allows me to have the three different shades of highlight, which I like because I really like that 3D look. And um, yeah, this is just perfect for me. Um, so, you know, the other night, my husband took me out to Napa and at Kingsley, and I highly recommend that restaurant, okay? That's in Fort Mill, and um, it is just fabulous. Uh, they, my girlfriends uh, took me out there for my birthday on St. Patrick's Day, and then we went there again on um, Saturday night. It was fabulous. I have filet mignon both times. I'm just a sucker for their filet mignon. And, and it was really hard because they had like Arctic char. And um, yeah, so, <laughs> so I don't eat um, red meat often, but when I do, I go all out. <laughs> and I finished every last piece. I did substitute the risotto and the cheese for um, some spring succotash and some sauteed mushrooms. But the, oh gosh, it was so delicious. And um, uh, yeah, and I didn't have cake on my birthday. Well, I had a mouthful. <laughs> but um, I only like dessert like once a year. Usually it's tiramisu. I just haven't been able to find it. And then um, they had this um, strawberry rhubarb tart. Oh, it, it was to die for in white chocolate mousse and creme fraiche and a strawberry. I, oh, I don't know. You know, I, I work hard. I'm very regimented. I, I exercise all the time, <laughs> but you know, sometimes you just have to live a little and, and we lived a little, <laughs> we did. I kind of, you know, I, I, I came in there with all my glamor and whatever and whatever, but I went out like, <laughs> I was on a food high. Um, and you know, so speaking of all of that, this is the first time I ever received this compliment. The woman who was working there, she came up to me and she told me, oh, you have incredible bone structure. I've never, 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 ever, never, ever, never, 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 ever had anybody compliment me with that compliment. I was like, oh, thank you. Um, so just, I want to show you this, okay? Um, so this is our, our detail brush by Saint, okay? And of course, I showed you the contour, this is Ash. I also use Aspen, which is Ash's sister. It's a little bit darker, um, but I like the consistency of the Ash. So I just put on a little bit more, but I, it's a little more creamy and I like how it works. But this brush, I mean, look how it fits drawing your cheekbone. This is your drawing. And, and I put it here too. And I actually put it here like this and here like this to make my chin jut forth more. And again, on the other cheekbone, and um, my placement is high. I do like a dab push, dab push, dab push kind of motion. And then I place my lip and cheek high here too, other not wise known as blush. I place it up very high and away from my face. I almost do like a Rembrandt's triangle here. I talked about the 3D. I mean, your face is not one color, okay? Nobody's is. So I use Sandy, Candlelit, and Versailles. Versailles being my super brightener. You'll see it a little, little bit right here, here, touch here and here, and uh, pinch right there. And then candlelight. And then as the season changes and I want more color, I'll mix the sandy and the candlelight together and I call it sandalite. <laughs> but anyway, this brush is, is a total winner. I mean, you need this brush. You could take the other side and do under your lip to make a shadow and create a fuller looking lip. And then you can take it down your nose here and then use your super brightener. And I also use a spot of pearl there to make, you know, my 
my nose even more aquiline and less um, button. <laughs> All right, so, um, uh, and, and what I'm wearing today, um, I went for kind of a basic look. Now I've told you before that like as if and amethyst are like neutrals for me. Purple is a neutral with my coloring, whereas some people would wear a shade of brown. Um, for me, purple is a neutral for my color eyes. They have a lot of um, gold and green in them, um, as well as, as a lighter brown. And they have that limbo ring around them, which is the black ring around my iris. So they're very contrasty. Um, so um, the stars of the show here are um, As If, Rain, and Duke. And you can see that Duke it's lifting and the Duke is almost the color of my dress here. And um, then I've got Angel's Landing, I've got Drift, and then I've got Drift below my eyebrows, but I've punched it up. They said, some people say, oh, don't put it all underneath. Well, I really want that contrast. So I punched it up with Aries. So there is contrast there. And of course I left it out, but um, I contoured my eyes with Lullaby. And I created an illusion crease up here, which is brought up higher to help with my, my hooded eyes, which you can either be born with or you'll, um, you know, develop them with age. <laughs> but that's okay, because there's, you know, a fix for everything. And that's what I do. I bring it up here just like this. And of course, I've got coal on my eyebrows. I've taken a little bit of the as if and the rain under my eyes just to add a little color. And then I've got my... Um, Stila all day liquid eyeliner in black and very thin to um, have a pattern repeat that goes with my limbo ring. And um, I've also taken some L'Oreal um, Unlimited uh, mascara on my bottom um, eyelashes. And then on my top, I'm wearing my Lashify. So here's the deal with the Lashify. I've been talking to you about it for a while and I've tried four different ones and then two different ones from another brand. Um, and so far my favorite of all of them. So I tried A, B, C, and D from the Lashify. And I started off with, with um, 12, 14, 14, 12. So after a lot of trial and error, and maybe I can help you by telling you what my favorite is now so that you don't, you know, you can get right to it and kind of get your favorite. Um, now I wear contacts, but you know, if I'm working, doing some retouching on the computer, you know, for my photography, I will wear my um, Catwoman glasses, which are very chic and sexy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so when I do that, I don't want the dramatics would touch my um, glasses. And that was like a pain. It just drove me insane. That rhymes too, <laughs> okay. Anyway, and um, so I ended up loving the curl and then I increased the length. So I went, um, I went 14, 16, 16, 14 in the curl for the Lashify. And that is my all time favorite so far. If it changes, I'll update you on it, but you're gonna see me wearing the curl. I'll be the girl with the curl in uh, Lashify. And it's like, once again, 14, 16, 16, 14. And these lashes on the very outside are my own. Um, I've been growing them uh, when I take a break, sometimes during the middle of the week and I'm teaching, um, I'll put the Vegamore on there just to get some, um, you know, keep them nice and full and long. I haven't had any damage from the Lashify also on my eyebrows. Um, and yeah, these are, you know, my real eyebrows and everything. They really filled in um, with the Vegamore using that. And then also, I mean, the coal is, you know, and if you didn't wear coal, you could wear Trust or Oak. Um, those are two other good colors that I highly recommend to people for, um, you know, you know, carving out their eyebrows with the same makeup. Okay, so um, let me just get back to the Saint because I want to wrap this up. I love the Saint so much. It's an occlusive agent, which means it holds the moisture into my face. It doesn't sit in my fine lines and wrinkles, and um, it's just wonderful. And um, so now what Saint has developed, it's developed collections, okay? We have three different collections, and we have eight different levels. So um, I'm going to uh, play a one minute video for you and you are going to have a look at the collections, the three different ones with the pricing and then um, it will show you together. So we'll say, you know, level one up to level eight and it will have pictures of faces. And if you see your complexion in there and you see one woman, you're like, oh, that looks just like me. Well, then you can go ahead and press want to shop, okay? And it will take you straight to my website. 
and um, if you're not sure and, and you want to ask me, you just click want to color match. I'll get you color matched and started with the same makeup. So there'll be, you know, you'll have, there'll be no guessing. Without further ado, let me play that one minute video. All right, well, hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's just jam-packed with information. I hope you found it informative. And um, yeah, once again, um, if underneath this video, in the description, you'll see a description and you know, um, it will have all about the fashioning, all about state makeup, but, but it, what it says first, it has a little brief description of what this video is about. And then underneath that, there's a link. One says want to color match and the other says want to shop. So you know what to do. You know, if you want to color match, hit that one. And if you want to just go in and shop, you've, you've looked at the video and you said, that girl looks like me. I'm level three, you know, <laughs> then you go right in and shop. Okay, lovely ladies. Well, I could talk to you all day about the saint, but um, hey, I just want to get on and show you this Easter video. Um, so hey, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, lovely ladies. Well, I've taken a step back from the camera. I don't know if you've noticed it before or whatever, but this belt does not go <laughs> with this dress. I am just wearing it to hold my mic and um, it's doing a good job of it. And so I want to um, just start talking to you about this Fashion Moment 38. And um, it just, I was inspired to do a little Easter um, or, or spring holiday video, what you may be wearing, um, you know, for your events this spring or, um, or, you know, whatever you celebrate. But for me, it's Easter. And um, yeah, on Sunday, I'll be celebrating Easter. And I wanted to show you what I will be wearing. Okay, so I am going to be wearing this, not this one though. Here's the thing. <laughs> um, this dress, this beautiful, gorgeous dress is from And Other Stories, okay? It's a beautiful um, boutique and I just love, you know, what they make. And my hair is partially blocking this, but um, I love this dress. Uh, I just love all the work on it. I love the sweetheart neckline. It is just so to die for. And I'm gonna just go into all the specifics in a second, but um, I'm actually going to be wearing this one above, okay? In this color, it's the same dress, but it's in a green. I also have it in a black and white. So sometimes when you find something that fits you so well and looks so good on you, you just, you know, it's a winner and it's a classic. So, you know, <laughs> if it's not broken, don't fix it. If you feel great in the dress, and, and you know, it, it looks fabulous, you know, why not have a few? It's, you know, not a big deal. So anyway, it is at Tess, um, alteration and dry cleaning. She is um, a star and she is hemming it four inches for me <laughs> because the woman wearing it is 5'10". And you know, you see my measurements, I am only five foot one and um, yeah, so I want to have it the right length. So the dress isn't wearing me, I'm wearing the dress. So Tess does a fabulous job. Um, she's uh, in Indian, South Carolina. She does so much good work for me. And I always say this, as a petite woman, um, a tailor can be your best friend. That being said, that goes for any woman. You want your clothes to fit you properly. You don't settle for a hem that's just a little bit too long and say, well, that's intentional. If you feel like it's a little too long, if your gut is telling you that, then it's a little too long. 
get it hemmed. Don't cuff your pants down under or your shirts or anything like that or whatever. Get them tailored. It's so important. Um, they're your own personal items. They should fit you to a T. And um, I, I promise you, if you get the tailoring done, you will feel better in them and you'll look better in them. And when you feel better and look better, I mean, it's just a winner all around, okay? All right, so that's my little spiel on tailoring, but um, I practice what I preach. Um, I'm gonna, she's really busy right now with <laughs> proms and things like that, but I am going to um, bring her um, a few pair of pants and a couple other things that I wanna get done. And, um, but you know, there's, it's no pressure, no rush. You know? <laughs> but she does a fabulous job and I highly recommend her. Okay, so, um, Last time I kind of went off the rails and started from the top to the bottom, but I'm going to go back to what I usually do and start from the bottom to the top. And um, so what I am wearing on my feet are my nude patent leather espadrilles. And I know you've seen them before and you'll see them again. I absolutely adore these shoes. Um, I think they're over, oh yeah, that's over a three inch heel. It could be four inches. Um, or three and three quarters, um, but it gives me the height I want. And these shoes are so comfortable. Um, I doubt they're still available, but you could look for some es espadrilles in nude leather, nude patent leather. These, I just picked these up on Amazon. I saw them and I know they'd be perfect. Um, so a lot of times, um, like there's a fashion rule, like if you're petite and you want your legs to look elongated, you know, forego the strap on the top. I can see that, how that could cut your leg in half or just cut it, you know, so that your line is broken, not in half, but you know what I mean? And um, so, but not the case so much when it's nude, it blends, especially if the nude really does match your skin tone, which, which mine does. And, um, and so it just, the security, my, my shoes aren't flapping off me or anything. And I just, I just adore these. Um, when, when these go, I'll be very sad and I'll be like on the hunt for another, another pair. Um, but I absolutely adore these. I feel great in them and uh, I think they look great and I can't say enough good things about them. And I know you've seen them before if you watch this channel. So, um, so let me get on to this dress. So I told you that I will be wearing um, a different color and I'll put it again, once again, up here so you can see. And um, I'll pick that up later um, and get a call when it's done. And, um, and that's what I'll be wearing for Easter. But it's basically the same shoes, the same hat, the same purse. So you'll just have to um, envision it uh, <laughs> on me. But let me tell you what I love about this dress from And Other Stories. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. Oh my goodness, I love, um, I love how this dress is cut in the bottom. Okay, with the slit, um, it goes right to my, my, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, about five inches above my knee, but it's right at the lower part of my quad, okay? And what this does for a woman, a petite woman or any woman, it makes you look taller, longer and leaner. That slit is your friend. OK, so um, that that is just showing your leg. It's an A, it's Ving up and it's just um, it does wonderful things for you. So you see a dress like that or you want to purchase this at and other stories you can it's available in the green I'm, and i know they usually have it like in one other color or something so have a look i'm going to definitely link, link it below and um i do love their site so yeah check them out and okay so let's just move up the dress so what this dress has i'm feeling for it right now i think yeah i found it okay so it has a side zip right here and what i like about that is that you can see it um it's fitted to me and you know so that the fitting is, you know, imperative so that you just, you know, you look your leanest, your best. It's not bagging on me. And then in the back, I love the smocking. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Um, that, I mean, it looks pretty, but there's also some comfort to that. So um, beauty and comfort mixed together. What more could you ask for, right? Uh, and I love the sweetheart neckline and the ruching right here. And then the way it's cut like an A 
um, an empire cut, okay? So right here, I'm totally following the rule of thirds, okay? My top third being from my head to right below my bust line in this case, and then my bottom two thirds being below my bust line to my feet, okay? And um, this dress is just so on point with that. Um, that's why I absolutely adore it. Um, so yeah, I just, I love this cut. It's just totally flattering. And then I love the little puff on the sleeve. It's not overly puffed, okay, just enough. And then I love this like scallop lace kind of, it's not a lace, but you know what I mean, like a scalloping fabric detail. Um, it's just so pretty so that if I had my, my hair up or something, that would look absolutely beautiful and elegant. You can see that. And, um, and then the other thing too, um, I didn't do it, but um, especially if you put your hair up, take a little bit of the Saint Illuminator and put it on your collarbone because it will look so um, beautiful and, and a little bit sexy. And, and yeah, your husband won't mind at all. Just tell him I said so. <laughs> anyway, so um, this dress is an A plus for me, totally on point, love it to death. Uh, highly recommend it. And um, so now um, let's talk some accessories, okay? All right, so uh, let's see, what have I got on here? I have got this beautiful, um, it's called, it's, it's a sky blue aquamarine. And I like it because um, aquamarine is March and that's my birthstone. And I like the, the gray blue of it. I don't know if you can, you just see. It's really pretty because it's, um, it's white gold and it's rose gold. And um, yeah, it's got the little like pave diamonds and it's just beautiful. Um, it's weird sometimes when I don't wear my mom's ring, but I do have other rings I've showed you and everything. So, um, you know, I mix, I mix it up sometimes. And then of course I have my um, platinum wedding band. I've got a little, a little bobble from Amazon on here. And then I picked this up in um, Charleston, South Carolina from a jewelry shop uh, called Peyton William. And I absolutely adore this. Um, again, we've got some, you know, aquamarine going on. We've got little bubbles. And um, what did my husband say when he purchased it for me? He was like, oh, it's because you're a bubbly personality. <laughs> so that was very sweet. And then I've got um, kind of on repeat now, kind of to go with my ring. And it's got a little yellow gold, rose gold, and again, the sky blue aquamarine. And um, I just adore these earrings. They're, they're very um, simplistic, but there's beauty in the simplicity. And I just, um, I, I adore these. I just think they're very pretty. I don't know if it's gonna show up anymore. But yeah, they're just, they're just gorgeous and they're just right. Um, Sometimes if I wear earrings that are too big, they do overtake me, especially with something delicate like this. With something like this, you just want to go delicate all around. This is not screaming to wear large jewelry or anything like that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I picked these uh, pieces because yeah, they are delicate and um, they just speak to me in that more ethereal kind of manner. And that's why I chose these. So um, let's talk about my bag. Uh, I just wanted to keep it simple. So I have my mini Duxbury by Brahmin and I, you know, I absolutely love this bag. And yeah, so it's, um, it fits a lot for being small. And also I like the feet on the bottom. I just like the style of this whole bag and it's got a back pocket. And like I said, it does have plenty of room inside. It's got a bit of metallic in it. It's called Moonstone. And so you can totally rock it with the nude shoes because it's got the warmth in there and everything besides the, the ivory and, and, and the gold and some silver and pearl. And it's just, it's the perfect bag. Sometimes I would say if I could only take one bag, I'll take this bag. Okay. All right. So that's the bag that I'm going to be wearing. And then I showed you this in the last video. This is my Easter hat. Okay, um, sometimes you'd think I'd go for something more like a bonnet, but sometimes not. So um, I showed this to you last time. It's from Gigi Pip. And I, I said it was a Monroe Rancher in straw, but it's not. I, I, um, I was mistaken in that. It's actually called the Arlo hat. And I did list it correctly in the listing, but I meant to say, 
that it was very similar to the Monroe Rancher, but it does have its own name and it's called the Arlo hat. And I just love how it's woven, okay? I love these lines here. And besides being beautiful again, we have beauty and function. You know, when it's hot out, you definitely want to shade um, your skin from the sun. It's very, very important to wear a hat, not only for fashion in the summer, but just to keep you, um, you know, sun safe, um, as well as wearing sunscreen. And I love this because it, you know, it, it provides airflow in there. So you got some air conditioning built into that. Um, okay, and, and then I had a choice with the leather here and I picked the cream because I just wanted this hat to, um, to just blend and go with so many things. And it does, it's just perfect for so many of my um, things that I'm going to be wearing this summer. And you can see the Gigi Pip emblem, so pretty. And um, yeah, this hat is so well made. I love the teardrop shape, okay? And um, I love the way it juts in on the front like this. It just kind of, it works, you know, to thin out my face and everything too. And it gives me height, which gives me, you know, makes me appear taller and gives me more presence. And um, I really adore all the GGP hats. They're so well made. Um, this is my first straw one. So um, I have um, three other ones right now in felt, but, um, this one, of course, you know, you see uh, Gigi Pip inside. And again, their um, logo, here's to a woman who wears many hats and that would be me. <laughs> All right, and so, and then I have one last thing to um, talk to you about. Okay, and then my very last accessory that I was just going to share with you today. Um, you know, the weather here is wild. I'm not sure what it's going to be on, on, on Easter. Um, the other day, it was so cold, we were sitting there with a blanket and it was colder the day before. Um, I did a shoot on Friday and the poor woman took off her coat and she was chattering, but all the azaleas were beautiful and it was just so gorgeous and everything. And today was uh, almost 80, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I could definitely wear like a white blazer with this um, if it was a little cooler in the morning. And that may be what I might do, wear my, um, white house, black market, white um, blazer. But if for any chance it's in the 50s or 60s and no sun, I picked this up and I wanted this. Um, I picked this up from Loft and it's a trench coat and it's in um, a small petite. I could have taken um, it in the extra small, but I do like say it was really cold or I'm traveling or something and I wanted to get a blazer underneath it, okay? If I got the extra small, there'd be no blazer room underneath it. Um, so I recommend always just sizing up a little bit so that you, you know, a trench coat is practical and it's not practical if you can't get your clothes underneath it. So that's why it's important. So let me tell you a little bit about this, okay? So the color of this is called Almondine and this was very important um, to me. I cannot wear camel. I adore camel. I love camel. Okay. I, and I can't wear tan, you know, tan, tan, like regular tan, khaki tan. It just sucks the living life out of my complexion. So, um, that makes it hard. Um, when I saw this, I'm like, Oh, almond Dean. So think of the inside color of an almond and think of it with a pink undertone. And it even says that in the description. So um, I was like, wow, let me try this. If it doesn't work, I'll just take it back. No, you know, no, what do they say? No something, no, uh, I'm thinking no pain, no gain, because I exercise so much, but whatever. No harm, no foul. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay, so, okay, it is lined on the inside. Can you see that? Let me back up a little bit. It's lined, and then um, inside, it has this little um, cham chambray stripe, you know, um, Sleeve inserts, so cute, okay? So that was a bonus. Um, you know, it's got a nice tie on it. It's got really nice buttons. It's well-made, okay? Um, nice pockets and, um, and then here's the belt, okay? Just basic, but that's all I need. And, and I would say this is kind of like a, like a putty or a stone with a little, I mean, the, the barest, I mean, you wouldn't, I can see that there's pink underneath it, but you wouldn't say, you wouldn't look at this ever and say pink. You would say putty or stone. Anyway, this is the perfect thing to have. And no matter what it's going to be on Sunday, I am gonna be prepared. 
Okay, and um, yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing this in the fashioning. All right, beautiful women. So I hope you enjoyed this fashion moment 38. Wow, you know, we're really moving along here. Um, <laughs> so um, I totally enjoyed doing it for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my, saint, um, my saint makeup segment. Sometimes I say things and I'm like, say it 10 times fast. <laughs> but, uh, and if you're interested in purchasing the Saint makeup, either click want a color match in the description below or just click want to shop. And again, we have the three different collections and I wanna be really transparent with the pricing. That's why I, I showed it to you. Um, this makeup is very affordable and um, it just does such wonderful things. I would never, um, I would, I'll, I'll never use any other makeup. I do not have any other makeup to show you. There's no, it's all, it all, all got tossed. Um, once I tried the Saint, um, I loved it and I'll never go back. And when you get compliments like, your bone structure is incredible, you're like, oh. oh, and by the way, when that woman said that to me um, at dinner on Saturday night, when I left, I said, you know, thank you so much. That's the first time I ever received that compliment. And I handed her one of my cards. I said, you know, it's a little bit me, because whatever, I've, I've thinned down and I, you know, but I said, but it's also my makeup. And I, you know, I do tutorials and I have a YouTube channel and I do fashion as well. And she's like, oh, wow, that's so cool. So, you know, she's gonna check me out and everything, but that was just such a nice compliment. And, you know, so I thank Saint for that because um, it really does give you that beautiful, it, whatever bone structure you have, it really makes the most of it, okay? So I, I can't say anything better than, I mean, who wouldn't love to have that compliment? I've never had that compliment, so. <laughs> anyway, but it, it is a lot the same, I'll tell you, and, and understanding how to apply it. And by the way, I have so many videos out on YouTube um, on the techniques and tips and how to apply the same makeup. So definitely go check them out. Maybe I'll throw a couple recent ones into the, um, into the description below and you can go and check them out. Um, okay, and also, if you like content like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So as I said, I, I, I said, I, I just wanna thank all of you um, and, and hopefully the next video I'll be at a thousand subscribers. But all of you that have subscribed and all of you that commented, I do read all my comments, okay? And um, I do appreciate you all so much. And I hope that, um, that I'm giving to you because that's, I'm here to, to you know, tell you everything that I've learned and share it with you and, um, and just make your life easier through the knowledge that I've gained about um, fashion, wardrobe, um, makeup, and everything that I've learned in my almost 30 years, at least <laughs> 30 years of photography experience. So all of that, all of these things are so synergistic that I do. When you talk about the photography, the posing, the makeup, it all comes together and, and, it, and it is all coming together. And so once again, I just thank you so much. And um, yeah, uh, really, thank you. And so this has been wonderful. I hope you have a fabulous week and I hope you have a um, fabulous Easter if you're celebrating that or whatever holiday and um, just enjoy yourself, hug your family, okay? Have a good time and um, yeah, always remember to wear your sunscreen and always remember to live your life passionately. A little different than all the rest A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage